Okay everyone, B Agent Dad here. Today we're going to specifically look into the display of a Service Pro 7. We're going to look into the color calibration of the screen as well as luminance of the screen as well. And I'm also going to add a new test in there and that is the viewing angle as well of this display. Now I will be creating a video for the review of the Service Pro 7. I'll put a link in the description below when that is made available so be sure to check that video out if you haven't done already. We're going to measure the luminance or the brightness of the display in the Service Pro 7. Now, the actual measurement that we need to take note of is this one here called current. It is measured in candela per square meter and pretty much one candela per square meter equals one nit of brightness, which you're more familiar with. So there are 10 increments to the brightness of the screen and I have disabled the auto brightness as well and plus the color shift as well for the night light. Now, I'm gonna bring it all the way down to the zero increment. And you probably won't see it on the screen, but I will tell you it is currently sitting at two candle per square meter, so that's two nit. Increment number one is eight nit. Increment number two is 19 nit. Increment number three is 34 nit. Increment number four is 58 nit. Increment number five is 88 nit. Now, interesting enough, this is probably the one that you'll be looking at for photography and videography for editing. And I'm gonna bring up to increment number six, which is currently sitting 130 nit. So that's over for photography and videography. So you're looking at increment number five for photos and videography editing. Increment number seven is 179 nit. Increment number eight is 238 nit. Increment number nine is 309 nit. Increment number 10, which is at its brightness, is 392 nit. So if it was rated at 400, that's very close to it. So you're looking at 392 maximum brightness of a screen. And that's pretty much measuring using my x right right one pro. So if I lift this up, you'll see it actually changes quite a lot. The display has now been color calibrate using the Spider Free Pro. Now I do prefer to use this software here over the x right one to actually demonstrate the color shift of before calibration and after the calibration. Now at the moment this is before the calibration so this is what it looks like coming out of factory and this is after being calibrated. Before and after. I can definitely see straight away there is a shift in the magenta. There is a lot more magenta after calibration. And you can see that from the actual person up here. So this is before calibration, after calibration. You see it's gone a lot more magenta and plus a little bit more shift in the yellow as well, which is for blue wise, not so much, which as you can see from here. And as for green, as you don't see much shift as well too. So this is before and after. So this is before and after. I can definitely see for black and white, it's a lot more nicer after the calibration here as well too. I have created a color profile using my x i i1 display calibration tool and I'll share that color profile with you in the link in the description below but if you're serious about colors I do suggest you to purchase your own color calibration tool it is literally a lifesaver now if you don't at least this color profile will give you a good starting point but be wary it is running off my ambient light testing out the color gamut coverage of the display in the service pro 7 we have 80.9 percent srgb coverage and also 56% Adobe RGB coverage. So I'm going to add a new test to my usual test for the display, and this one's for viewing angle. So at the moment, I've got the camera 90 degrees to the display itself. So I'm gonna move now move to about 10 to 15 degrees. That's what it looks like here. And I'm going now to move to about 45 degrees. So that's kind of what it looks like here, about 45 degrees. And now I'm gonna to move to around about 70 degrees. And I'm going to now move to 80 degrees. And that's pretty much as much as I can do. Now, if there's another way to improve that, please tell me, or if you find this test actually useful or not. I definitely like to hear your comments on it. 
with the display nearly at 400 nits of brightness, I find it quite bright and you're not going to struggle in the broad daylight there, which is absolutely fantastic. And as for the color wise, it is a little magenta, but else it actually does pretty well there. And pretty much a quick color profile would usually fix that up. Now, if you enjoyed this video or find it informative, give it a like. And if you haven't done already, subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button on the bottom right corner screen. I do try to upload a new video every Tuesday. And just remember, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you next video.